soaps now and last night a new Sugden made his dramatic debut on the deals but will he be welcomed into the family with open arms when his half-sister Victoria discovers his true identity tonight? I didn't realise that you were Barbara's son. Eric Pollard. Your mother and I go way back. John Sugden. Excuse me. Wait, did he just say... Yeah, yeah, he did. Oliver Farnworth, who plays, of course, John Sugden, joins us now. Lovely to see you, you Oliver. Thank um, you. He's created a bit of an impact already and he's been there for five minutes. Yeah, his opening gambit is pretty strong, I think, <laughs> as from last night's episode. And then, as we can see from the clip today, we, we find out a lot about him quite early on, but there's a really kind of enigmatic side to him as well. I mean, I've been filming for two months now and there's a lot of stuff I can't talk about, but really that is the tip of the iceberg because it's a it's an absolute roller coaster. Really? Yeah. Okay, so he, like we say, he's there to ruffle feathers. Yeah, and he's slap bang in the middle of the Sugdens and the Dingles, so what, what a better place to be for drama, really? Because, um, of course, John is Robert Sugden's half-brother then yeah. as well who we know is in, in prison at the minute because mm -hmm. he, he attacked Victoria's attacker, well, killed yeah. him, in fact. So he's in prison. But more importantly, Robert was in a relationship with Aaron Dingle. And we saw last night that your character and Aaron had a little bit of a thing. A little frisson, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I think um, for John, uh, his character, like I said, he's, he's very very enigmatic, very matter-of-fact about things. So I think he just sees that as a, as details, mm. whereas everyone else is like, hang on a minute, you're Robert's half-brother. What, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah. But he seems he does seem a bit detached almost, isn't it? He's, he's sort of there. He doesn't really maybe care what people think. He'll yeah. say what he thinks, and that obviously is going to upset a lot of people along the way. Yeah, and really he's he sees himself there by default. You know, he's, he's turned up for his mother's funeral. He's had a kind of hook-up with Aaron, and then uh, a few things happen that kind of force him to be stuck in the village with these people and all he wants is out. He's not interested. He's, I think he's kind of come to terms with the fact that uh, he's very happy on his own, he's very comfortable in his own skin and he doesn't really need people around him in life. But uh, the, the people that he finds himself around think otherwise. That's a good foundation for yeah. the next couple of oh, months, yeah. oh, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> it really is. What have you made of making the shift to the Dales? What's it been like in the Emmerdale family? I mean, it's, it really is a magical place. It's fantastic because we, we shoot in the studio, which is great, all studio-based stuff where all the sets are, the interiors, but then kind of two what or three days a week, start? you get to go on this kind of almost like magical school so trip up to the, this beautiful village that's been recreated in the middle of nowhere in, in rural Yorkshire. And it just is stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the people, fantastic. Yeah, because again, it's just one of these things. You you live soaps, don't you? You feel like you know everyone and suddenly you're in it. it it's, oh. it's that strange position and all of a sudden. Yeah. And you can never prepare for your first scene in the Woolpack because it's it's iconic. Fortunately, I think I only had two lines in mind because I was like... <laughs> but it was, <laughs> a nice but, little starter session. But everyone is like so welcoming. So and welcoming. how does it compare to Coronation Street? Well, I mean, every, again, family, it, it really is a kind of as, as welcoming a place. The, the, the schedule is uh, equally as um, demanding at times because we, we film a lot, but everyone there is as professional and as up for a laugh and it's just like a, a warm embrace. Yeah, I mean, poor, poor Andy and Corey, of course, didn't really deserve to go. He sort of technically died twice. Twice, twice. yeah. I mean, not many people can say that they've, they've died twice on screen. But, not, um, not at the hands of Pat Phelan, Well, I mean, if you not. get involved with Pat Phelan, you know, but, you know, he got his comeuppance in the end. And it was actually fun because I was touring a show last year with Les, Les Dennis, and we toured to Plymouth and we actually met Connor, who plays Pat, and we had a drink with him after he came to see the show, and we've all got a picture of us, all, all of us dead, but happy. <laughs> dead, but happy dead, but together. Happy. <laughs> Resurrected. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you've kind of conquered the North in terms of soap land, I think, at this you, point. Well, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, it's fair yeah, to say I'm that. More, I'm more than happy there. And we know, of course, your partner, Samantha Womack. She's conquered the South with EastEnders. She we know that, too. Legend. So you've, legend. You, an absolute, complete and utter legend. And we, we know, sadly, she did talk about her cancer diagnosis that was back in 2022 unfortunately yeah. and and but she's doing well now isn't she she's, she's doing incredibly well i've got to say a massive shout out to her and lots of love mm -hmm. uh, but 
she's she's just been so kind of strong and determined through it. I mean, I was just thinking when she got her diagnosis, she was she didn't have any symptoms. It was a it was a routine checkup, and she just kind of felt something, but she she couldn't feel anything physically. And we were very lucky because they detected quite a high grade of cancer, and we were able to deal with that quite quickly. But she then went through the chemo and the radio, and it was her final radio sessions, and she was determined to finish the show she was in at the time, Lion, the Witch in the Wardrobe, and that coincided with us moving to Spain. So she was having radiotherapy, moving house, and doing a West End show, and just dealt with it so kind of bravely and strongly with so much dignity and just determination so yeah, in awe of her. A, a, yeah. a tough time, but like you say, she, she was built to, to in some way try to cope with it because she had a lot on at that time. Yeah. It's why our Change and Check campaign, which started here in the show yeah. a few years ago now, Oliver, it's just so important, isn't it, to continue to talk about it. I know Samantha will feel very passionately about that. Yeah. We have to just keep on it all of the time. Absolutely. And even if you, you know, you get a, a message for a routine mammogram, routine checkup, anything like that, and you think, oh, it's, it's fine, go. go, just, just go, because that, prevention well, Samantha's is, is the absolute, you know, she, she personifies why you have to go, completely. you know, exactly completely. right. Well, please send her our love. I I'm will. so glad she's I doing will. well. We very much look forward to see what's going to happen in this Sugden family now in the next couple of weeks and months. Have you been filming for a couple of months? Oh, there's a lot to come. There's, there's a, a lot, lot to, to come, come I know. At the moment, but it's, You've it's done very well. super exciting. Super no spoilers exciting. here just yet. Thank you so much, Thank Oliver. You. Great Thank to you. see you. And Emmerdale, of course, continues tonight at 7.30 on ITV1.